What is good? What's going on? Uh, we got an interesting one today. I, I'm visiting my parents at the estate they live in in Pozzo Natal on the Kazan South Coast. And whenever I'm here, I always just like to let the people on the estate know. And if they get any snakes, I generally walk shoot through and remove them. Um, it's a pretty overcast, cool day today. And I just was sent a picture on WhatsApp of what looks like a really large um, and very poorly spotted spotted bush snake just moving through the brickworks on someone's wall right outside the garage. And they're a little bit away from the valley here in the estate, so the snake has a high probability of getting run over. And although these people are very relaxed, he didn't seem too concerned. But let's go see if we can shoot through there. Um, relocate it and pop it back in the valley where it shouldn't run into any people on the roads and the cars so I'll catch up with you guys when we get there Wow! so we're just arriving um, at the place here and hopefully you can get some <laughs> footage of this little snake uh, I'm at the right place <laughs> okay oh he's a big one Let's have a little look at it. Think it might be a green snake. No, yeah, it's a spotted bush snake. Yeah. I thought it was a spotted bush. You can see yeah. he's just got his head around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, I can see him. I'll just yeah. get a little video. Hi there. <laughs> Let's see if we can. It's amazing how they fit, you know, just right in the in the grouting like that. And as you get close, you'll typically zip off. But he well, seems. <laughs> Straight into the house. Oh, he does have quite a few new, nice spots on him. From the from the picture, it didn't look like he had lots of spots. Yeah, I wasn't going to get too close because I wasn't a hundred percent certain. Yeah, anymore. with these guys, you can see once you get obviously a little bit closer, you'll yeah. see he's got um, like a bright orange iris in the eye. You see no. how he's got the bright orange eye? Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see the spots there. Yeah, you nice can see the idea. spots, and he's well, all. I've got a nice one of his face. He's all cool, calm and collected and you'll see, and he's got also a black tongue with the yeah. base of the tongue is turquoise. Okay. You'll see, he's all cool, calm and collected. The moment you put your hands on him, <laughs> then he starts, he'll bite. Right. Um, but you can see they've got, the, on the belly, they've got what they call keeled scales. So he can move quite easily up, a, up a straight wall like that. Right. Most snakes, they can't move all that well. Oh, I get hands on him. You can see, no. when they get agitated, you see how he puffs his, he'll puff up right. his throat there a little bit. Um, to let you know that he's trying to look big and mean. I actually want to take a picture of the turquoise between his scales. Yeah, I'm, I'm visiting my folks. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, and I obviously... You know Miguel, obviously. Yeah, I know Miguel well. And um, yeah, I travel... Yeah, no, the minute I put it on, he straight back to me and said, is it still there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, um, yeah, I travel around the country photographing snakes and I write, the, I write field guides and that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. We're actually off to um, a Royal National park oh, um, yeah. over the weekend also to go look for snakes and lizards and that sort of thing of yeah to now that you know he's nothing he's yeah, nothing I to know, worry about <laughs> you just said he'll bite you if you touch it yeah, oh you will but if you look for trouble you will bite you bitch if you touch it yeah if you look for trouble you get trouble you know i've got a nice photo of his face yeah they're beautiful you see, he almost often people think they're two different snakes because if you look from the one side, it's plain green, right? And then you look from the, the first third, and he's got all the black spots. Mm. See, the moment you touch him, you usually will. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He's yellow underneath. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes they bite, other times they don't. Yeah. But you can see what I was saying with his belly. See how he's got the, the lines on the side of the right. body there. And that's what they call having keeled scales, mm -hmm. whereas most snakes have a smooth belly. Yeah. So most snakes can't climb that well. But these little guys are excellent mm -hmm. climbers. Sort of, we went to, we, had a, we came out once, there was a hell of a, of like a meter long, long a bit, skin. Oh, it yeah, it's, it's probably from him. Yeah, and it was a, um, we, he, we had one in the garden once, the birds were going off to yeah. him, completely mad. But then that one, the minute I walked outside, he, he, he zipped off. off. Yeah, see, it, it's quite cold and overcast today. Yeah, so so yeah. usually when you, when you find the snakes, I mean, if you touch him, You'll feel he's quite cool to the touch. Right. Yeah. Usually with these guys, when they're on the on the hunt for looking mm. for geckos, they're you know hot to the touch. Yeah. They're on the hot walls. And they can they can, they can move when they want. <laughs> yeah, they they move like lightning. Yeah, because I saw him, the one I went. So I just came down here to the little valley. You might recognise this before. We've done 
some frogging in some of the previous videos. But this is a nice little dam, little stream leads into here where we're going to release this spotted bush snake. Should be loads of food for it. There's tons and tons of frogs. And uh, I let a couple of other snakes go here. So let's have a better look at this green snake and we'll let it go. Here's a nice look at this beautiful spotted bush snake. You can see when it inflates its throat, when it breathes, you can see the beautiful turquoise between the scales. Um, excellent climbing snakes. You'll see now when we release him onto his tree. As soon as I let him go, he should disappear right into the bushes. And there he goes. Oh. It's been a while since I've seen green snakes and asked to get one on a video. Anyway, he is way out of here. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.